Hello everyone, welcome back to Ford CLSC. Hope you are doing good. So, so today again I am here to discuss the question which were usually asked in the comments and the mails that is the topics which we should prepare while going for the interview. So today I will going to share a few topics which are important and uh, you should have a knowledge of this topic either you are a one year or two year or three year of experienced person. So here the topics are important and the complexity of these topics or the questions comes from these topics depend upon the years of experience and the number of uh, projects you have worked on these topics. Okay, so let's start with today's video and discuss the topics. What the, what are the topics? Here we will start from the admin. So here the very first topic comes from the data security. So this is a very interesting topic and if you have a knowledge on this, so you have a good chance in your hand to explain more and more in this topic. So an interviewer here can either ask you to explain the complete data security model or he can give you the scenario based questions and the complexity of the questions depend upon the years of experience you have and the uh, work, how much work you have performed on the data security. So here you uh, you can explain the different tables of security that is object fill and the record and the different methods we have to handle all this level of security. Okay, Here I suggest you if you still did not work on the data security. So before going to an interview, please look on the data security part because uh, uh, surely the uh, interviewer will going to ask a question from this topic. Okay. So the next topic comes from the admin part is the automation. So the declarative automations we have. So the standard automation like workflow, process builder and the flows. So earlier most common question was there the difference between workflows and the process builders and the time based workflows. So, as now you all know the workflow used to going to expire very soon. So interviewer used to more focus on the flows. So how much the candidate work on the flows. So it is not necessary that uh, you should uh, you have performed lots of work on the uh, flows. But you should have a, a bit knowledge on the flows like we can uh, what is the difference between the triggers and the flows or what, what are the different methods we have in the flows and then what are the different types of the flows we have. Okay, so this type of uh, points you should know. Like, uh, if you, uh, if I interviewer used to ask from the flow, so you instead of sitting quietly, you can give a bit uh, information about the flows. Okay, so in the and the most common question is in the recent release, as you know, so many up the updates are added, or so many points are added in the flow. So you should uh, once go through all the points. So there are I think eight to nine points in which the new application is done in the flow. So you should be aware about these points. Okay. So they can also give you a scenario like uh, and ask you whether you should go with the flow or you should uh, perform it with the triggers. So if you go with the flow, so how you can, uh, how, which type of flow you will go into create or the launch or screen and whatever it is. So uh, you should have an idea on this. Okay. So now next uh, come to the uh, epic part here. So here the triggers is the most important topic. So either you are a one, two, three or four or whatever years of experience person, you should be a good in triggers if you are applying for the development profiles. Uh, you will obviously get one scenario to write on the trigger. Okay, your interviewer will give you the one uh, scenario and ask you to write a code. Here. Okay, so uh, you should have a knowledge on the triggers like and you can in this can give you the scenario and ask you whether we'll go with the after or the before and the questions like uh, why there is no ID or ID in the before. So here you can explain the execution order and ask uh, and explain that in the before data is still not commit in the database. So here we are not having any report ID. So for, for the report ID we need to go with the after triggers. Okay. And what is the read only error? How you resolve it? And which event you will face? So here it is uh, usually used to get read only in the after event. And if you, how we will going to resolve this? So this type of questions will be asked here. And undelayed, why there is no undelayed in the before trigger? So here you can also explain the reason here. So uh, you should uh, at least you should have a knowledge how to write a trigger. Okay, if you are applying for the development profile. And the next important topic is the asynchronous epics. So, okay, so this is also a very important topic. So interviewer usually used to ask questions from this topic also. You should must be aware about the batch epics future and the uh, asynchronous, uh, what are the asynchronous fallouts and all. 
Okay, and the batch effects is the very important topic also, and we used to get more number of questions from the batch effects, and also give you the scenarios like uh, can we call batch from the batch, and can we uh, why we cannot call another batch from the execute method. So, so there is also a reason. So you should explain all the things here, and what is mixed VML here, and in this mixed VML how we can avoid this. Okay, and why we cannot call future from future to future, and we, what is the workaround. Here, okay, so these type of questions come from the asynchronous FX also, and you can also ask you to write the syntax uh, uh, of the batch FX. Okay, so here you should need to uh, tell about the you can uh, implement the interface and write the three different methods we have in the batch FX. Okay, so how we can make a call out from the triggers. So here the future methods come in future. So these type of question which he will going to ask you. And the best practices we should follow while we writing the uh, trigger on the FX code. So here, like your code should be bulky file. You should not perform any DML in the queries. Uh, you should not perform any DML in the loops. And uh, all these best practices which you need to explain. Okay. On the next topic here come is about the ORA and the LWC component. So it depends on you in which component you have worked on, like a. Uh, the interviewer will going to ask him both the from the both components uh, on from the aura and from the LWC also. And if you have worked on aura and still not worked on the LWC, as this comment also I have received many times with LWC mandatory, or your interviewers will going to ask questions from the LWC. So here, uh, see if you have one or two years of experience, then it it can be neglected as. Uh, but if you are more than two years of experience, then it, uh, it they will consider a candidate who is having experience or who has worked on the LWC also. Because LWC is now most from most commonly which we use. So now we queries are aura are not considered. We used to consider LWC only. So LWC knowledge is important. Okay, so you should know how we, how the events are fired, what are custom events, how to pass value from one LWC to another LWC component, how to pass value from one or two LWC component. Okay, so these are the, what is the difference between API and the track and so there are so many things. So here you will going to explain all your projects here, whatever the projects you have worked on the LWC and and from the and if you are three or four years of experience, so most uh, they will more focus on the JS part of the LWC. Like they can ask you the what are promise and the promise all. Okay, so they can ask you the uh, flow LWC lifecycle hooks. What are they and how uh, and also give you the scenarios here. Like uh, what how I will get to know my render callbacks is fine again and again. How I can avoid this. So these are the some things which you should must know. Okay, only LWC component if you have a good years of experience and also work on the projects. Okay, so here they will be going to more focus on the JS part. So now the next so questions come from the Salesforce integrations also. So here it depends if you have worked on the integrations also. So they will going to continue on the integration part also. So here the questions will be asked like the uh, use of uh, the benefits which we have, uh, which we get from the naming credentials. What is the process? What is or 2.0 connected app? So where we should create the connected app uh, in the source or in the destinations? Okay, so what are the different REST methods we have? Okay, what is the difference between batch and how? So everything and mostly from the related to your project only. Okay, so and if you have faced any error in this, so how you get the workaround? Here, so they will ask you some this type of questions also. Here, okay, and now apart from this, if you have worked on any additional clouds also, like community cloud, service cloud, or the marketing cloud, so they can. Uh, so it depends completely on the interviewer. It can ask you from this topic also, or it can leave it. Okay, uh, and at last he will. Uh, not all, uh, but normally. Interviewer used to ask a question like, uh, "Is there any error you have faced, and the workaround which is out of the box you have used?" So, can you explain this? So, here you need to explain any of the scenario which is most which is difficult for you to achieve. So, you can explain the scenario here, like, and these are the topics which you should need to prepare while going for an interview. So, let me recall this. The number one comes the data security. Now, the second comes is 
the automations and now next comes is the triggers and then comes the asynchronous effects and then comes the aura components or the lwc components so these five topics are most commonly asked so you should have a knowledge on these topics and these are the few topics we are the important topics we can say from which you questions came in the interview okay so at last i would like to say you should not be 100 percent correct for all your answers the interviewer is not looking for the all the correct answer he is only looking for the approach you will going to decide or you will going to take while achieving the solution so here the approach is must and the way of solution and the steps of solutions we will going to provide him so thank you hope you guys enjoy the video and the next video will be you soon till then take care goodbye